And welcome back to Old Man Dax. We're here on the long-term survival realm, episode 11. Uh, you caught me in the middle of cleaning up a mess. Um, we're going to go again with the theme that, uh, you know, kind of dumb at this game. Even though I've played, you know, thousands and thousands of hours. Um, so I've made, um, actually let me put this away and I'll go show you. I made a couple attempts at some fish farms because I need bones. We do have a skeleton spawner and that's what I've been using in between trying to get this thing to work. So let's just scoot over here and we'll show you the first one. If you look back at the, the last couple of episodes, um, you can see that I've been working on this. I haven't got much more done because I've been just using my uh, time to try and get these working. You can see I've got some redstone here. I've tried hopper clocks and everything. Um, I had dispensers. So when I first made the farm, I made it like my old farm back in... Uh, so what I've learned through all of this is when the little update thing comes out, I think I'm going to start doing a little, just a little video on what the update is while I read it. Um, because fish now, and I'm not sure what update it was, they don't spawn in bubble columns. So I tried hooking up a hopper clock to some dispensers, whoops, um, to flood the area with water, but that only spreads across the bottom floor, and when the dispenser spits it out, it only goes like one or two and then goes down, so it just doesn't fill it up. And if I did dispensers down that wall and this wall, it would fill it all up, but when they retract the water, it wouldn't retract all the water way out here. And even since doing this, fish don't spawn here for some reason. Even though there's fish down below, like I said, I'm not sure if it's too close to the ocean floor, but I do not have fish spawning in here. So once we did that, we went over here. And like I said, I was gonna make this big fish tank. So I made the big tank and nothing was spawning in here as well because I did have um, lava blocks down there and everything was being pulled down so we got rid of all of those and we got rid of all the water around and still no fish are spawning in here so we're going to go with plan C I'm going to make another tank out here. I'm probably going to get rid of that because I don't think I think I can get the squid just out of here like you can see it's still spawning squid so like I said today's episode is going to be a little different we're just going to do uh, kind of like a 1.2 trial run because I think in 1.2 there's going to be a lot of exploring and adventuring and that, so we're going to do a little uh, pre-run on that today because the new farm design that I have, like I said, I'm going to tear this down, I'm going to build a little tank down here in the water, and we're going to use some of the mechanics from the game. So we're going to get some uh, axolotls in the water to kill the fish, and then we're going to get some LAs because my neighbor Terry, who lives over there, said that I could come over and... Uh, steal an LA so we're gonna go over there grab one we'll duplicate it and uh, yeah we're gonna have them right here so the axolotls will kill the fish everything will float to the top and the alleys will gather it up and bring it over to a little storage system which we may put a little thing to get it out to here and put it over here maybe or we might just build another little dome thing and put it up in there. We'll see. So like I said, today's episode is going to be a little different. You're just going to kind of follow along and uh, we're going to do some exploring and maybe we'll start that build. We'll see. So first things first, we got to get set up to go exploring. So let's, uh, oops. Uh, railroad tracks, extra railroad tracks. Put them over here. So first things first, we want to have lots of storage in case we find um, some good stuff. 
Uh, do I got room in there for all that black dye? Yeah, sure do. And we started the uh, the walls to the subway. Maybe when uh, we go out, we can venture down that way and I can show you. It looks uh, pretty cool, I think. So yes, we have a lot of supplies left over from trying to do all these fish farm designs. So future builds might be a little easier. I should have just put all the stuff. I got an auto sorter. I don't know why I'm not using it. Okay, let's put all these in the auto sorter. We got some extra lights. Oh, speaking of lights, we'll need some extra lights. Let's go with a stack. A stack of lights should be good. Uh, 38 food. I think I have more food. Yeah, right there. Alright, almost a stack of carrots. That should be good. Uh, I don't think we need the red banners anymore. We'll put those away. It'll be underneath the wool. We have to finish that build today too. I got a few more. Uh, I got to do the seating and I got to do the stable over at the PvP arena before uh, 1.2 hopefully. Alright, there's my wither box. Okay, we got extra torches. We don't need the sand or that. I don't think we need the kelp here. Put that away. And that should be plenty of uh, storage. Oh, I can go show you that, too. Um, I'm in another room, ain't I? Yeah. Uh, light blue dye. We can put that away in the dye box. Purple, green. Put those all the way in the dye box. First, we'll go over to Terry's, and I think we need a shard. 
And are my leads in there? Yeah, there we go. Grab a lead. Alright, sorry about that interruption. Boy, come to get some uh, snacks. Okay, so we're gonna need a few more arrows. Stack of arrows should be good. Shouldn't be too dangerous just going over there, then we'll get set up to uh, go cave in. Alright, let's go see if we can get an LA. We'll start with that because we want to get a few and then we'll bring, well, we'll bring one over and then we'll start breeding them. And, uh, Let's just fly. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how many we're going to get for how big the area. All right, I think this is going to be the first time I've actually seen somebody else's base in one of my videos. So this is Terry's base, and I don't know where he put all his alleys. So we're going to try not to disturb anything. Ha ha ha, there they are. Oh, he already had a jukebox over here. Alright, let's uh, pop in a disc. There's our little fella. No, no. <laughs> Give me that back. What can I give him? I'll give him a piece of scaffolding, I think. Come here, come here. Get over here. <laughs> little fella. Now let's see if we can get him home. It's not too far of a walk. Yeah, like I said, once uh, 1.2 hits, um, we will definitely, uh, everyone's pretty much been on like a little break um, waiting for 1.2. So we are uh, going to wait and do base tours when everybody gets back off their little breaks. And uh, come on little fella. I do appreciate the uh, LA, Terry. And like I said, I'll be back to do a base tour once 1.2 hits and everyone gets more active. Alright, we shouldn't have come up further. Oh, these guys are actually pretty pretty quick. Might have to do uh, a 
build with Terry up here on this top of this mountain because his base is over there. He did tear down most of this mountain. Um, and my base is over right here. So it'd be kind of, uh, I think, a good uh, do a tag team, do a big uh, build right there, come up with an idea. All right. Short little walk back home. Well, I said we will uh, breed up a bunch of these guys. Shoot in here. All right. Where do I have? Oh, I have it right by the uh, right by the garden. We can just set him there for now. And then we need, so now we have an LA. Um, oh, I was going to show you that. Uh, I was watching. All right. All right. You stay right there. We'll be back. We'll make more of you. So I was watching uh, Silent Whispers video the other day. Is one of his new ones that came out with the item duping thing. And I'm not big on item duping. I like vanilla Minecraft, that's why I'm on long term survival, because it's survival, and there's no mods, no nothing, you just play regular old Minecraft. But this one here intrigued me because it's all just, so there's the uh, item collection. I do have to put up a row of glass, I think, right here, to make them fall, because some of them are, I'm losing a couple, not a lot, but anyway, as you can see, it works. Every time you come in and out of the nether, there's a couple blocks in there for me building it. But yeah, every time you come in and out of the nether, it dupes. You're saying that I have some at like four. Oh, some. Like I said, I got some sides here. I got to uh, put some glass. And I find if you don't stack them all the way up, even if you do stack them all the way up, like these were all stacked all the way up. And like I said, it's, it does get pretty tricky in here. you got to uh, keep moving. All right, so where are we here? Right there. Oops. Um, you can stack them all the way up, but eventually they do break, so you got to come in and uh, restack your stack. So I just put like four, five. You can do whatever height you want, but I said just every once in a while I just come in and restock it back up, and then whenever anyone comes to visit you. Or you're running into the nether, you're going to do a bunch of sand and gravel. So for glass, TNT, uh, concrete powder, a whole bunch of reasons. So I got mostly sand. We're going to need a lot of glass for this next build, so I'm going to steal some of the sand. That's why I come in here to show you. All right, let's put some gravel up while we're here, too. I was thinking about getting rid of this row right here, because then I'd be able to get in and get the gravel a little easier. I might do that, I might get rid of this one row, because then I could go down the back of that one. Same as like right here, I have one row that I can get through. Alright, so that's that. I said it's just inside my nether base, or my nether hub. Alright, let's get rid of that, let's grab a bunch of sand. We're going to take it over to the super smelter. That's probably not enough, but anyway, we'll come back and get some more. Like I said, I could go to uh, 
a desert and get a bunch right quick, but this here's just a little bit extra. All right, let's go throw this all in the super smelter. Item sorter still sorting. I haven't been doing much more building in the town because I'm waiting for the bamboo wood to come out. And then we're going to be changing mostly everything to the bamboo wood anyway. And how's our stock of bad? Okay, I'm not going to sit here and smelt that on camera. We'll do that once uh, we log out. Okay, so we got lots of light. We got lots of food. We got lots of arrows. And we got a little bit of scaffolding. Probably use some more scaffolding, but do I have any bamboo over here? Not a little bit. Why is the magma block going all the way through? Did I have too much? Yeah, sure did. Okay. So that magma block should end up yeah, over here. Let's take the books out. Prime obsidian out. Let's take all the rotten flesh out. Sell all that. Signs. Scaffolding, 14, eh, should be all right, I think. Uh, maybe we'll take the string over and make a bunch more. All right, let's go get rid of this rotten flesh. the map is coming along I got to update right here all this water here is gone so we can update that um, like I said this here we're probably gonna take that out so that will change <clears throat> that's gonna turn into uh, the new design that I'm gonna do and hopefully uh, we can get lots of bones out of there I think with this design it might actually be slower than the skeleton spawner but Uh, no, I, th I think the skeleton spawner is still going to outdo it, but um, we, we'll get the uh, the raw fish so we can cook that up so we will get more food. Uh, where was I going? Oh yeah, bamboo. Okay, we'll just take out one stack and we'll make what we can make. There, 60. And I got rid of all the string and bamboo. We can put it back. So as you can see, I got a lot, a lot of bamboo. All of this is all full, ready to go. Plus we still have that. Plus we have inside the warehouse we have the automatic bamboo maker. So we're gonna have lots of bamboo wood. Oh, we're up to 21. 
It's good. This farm's doing actually pretty good now. I should fix that though. I was over here the other day and uh, I was making concrete powder and had an accident. Put that away the first time we open the uh, shocker box. Oops. Alright, there. Now that's back to full. Yeah, I've broken the water come down and Get rid of those ones. What I mean, the concrete powder. Oh, yeah, while we're over here, I'll show you the uh, the subway tunnel. And then in my last video, I told you that I had a project on the go in behind my uh, village. We'll go over and we'll show you that right quick before we head out to uh, Panda was on the other day and he said that he had. Um, a lush cave underneath his base, so we're going to go over there and check and see if we can find what we're looking for over there. The only other thing that I'm going to need to find, and which I'll probably just wait until I get um, a wandering trader, is tropical fish. And we'll just keep buying it off of him. So here's the tunnel, so this is what it looked like before. Um, and now we got the uh, we're gonna doing like kind of like a big spine and some ribs down the thing and then this is all uh, black concrete to make it all nice and dark um, I don't think I'm gonna have candles I think we're gonna change the lighting maybe uh, right here on each one I might do a soul lantern or a real lantern we'll see how much light we need down here to keep mobs from spawning but mostly it's just to keep the mobs out of here so that's the design of the tunnel and then uh, like I said each station um, where you load and unload to go to different directions um, this is going to be my station the main one and then hopefully everyone jumps on but I'm going to do the tunnel right down to the end of the line and then leave people to design their own station because like Chris and Kelly are doing like a Roman kind of theme and then we saw Terry's base, he's doing like a quartz kind of build. And then, uh, so yeah, we'll see what the different people design their things. So that's that. And now we'll go over and I'll show you the, uh, the other little project I've been working on. And I do have extra rockets. In a chocolate box, so we don't have to worry about that. So yes, right over here, in behind. I'm not sure if you ever seen any of those movies, the Japanese or the Chinese, there where the like the military is going through, and they're all out in their fields working. I think it's rice fields or whatever. So that's what we're going to be doing over here. So you can see I got it started over there, but we're going to use mud, and water, and then we're going to put some sugar cane. I'm not sure if I'm going to put string on top of the sugar cane to keep it at one or if I'm going to go up to three we'll see but anyway this is going to step down step down step down all the way and it's going to be over there it's going to be like one big rice field all the way down I think it's going to look pretty cool and then uh, project for after 1.2 comes up I think right up here along the top I'm going to make a uh, Japanese style dragon coming down the mountain we'll see go away all right so let's get going over to panda's base and see if we can find this lush cave because we need some axolotls Oops. oh okay like i said see duped so so awesome oh well, there's the realm owner jesse and like i said once 1.2 hits and everyone gets more active we're gonna start with the discord channel or the playstation chat we'll, we'll start talking with more people get them more interactive oh that's not good
Okay, so let's uh, armor up here. Now to get to his base, I believe. I think he's been doing some modifications over here. was just a single path up here maybe oh he's starting okay So once we find out where his base is, we'll uh, add the coordinates to the subway map. And uh, we'll have to start digging the tunnel this way in the overworld. So I can just basically explain the uh, farm that I'm going to make while we're walking. Um, so basically I'm just going to put a glass mostly glass um, uh, am I going to do a sphere or a circle probably do a circle ish anyways Actually, I was talking to Panda the other day about that, that I'm getting low on uh, end stuff. I gotta get some shockers and that. Um, so yeah, circle or sphere for the uh, to keep all the fish or the uh, axolotls trapped in there, and then. Uh, So when the fish spawn the axolotls, we're going to have quite a few bred up in there. They're going to go along and kill the fish, then all the uh, bones and the fish will float to the surface. And that's where we will have our little upper area where the uh, lays will be. And, uh, nice looking good panda. He's already got his little starter house built. And he had... A big drop down here somewhere. Don't tell me it's inside. Big fireplace looking good. Some storage. I said I don't want to do too much spoilers, but uh, where is your big? Hit. Well, there's candles all over here. Let's go this way. Oh, well, that's ocean. Hi, little foxy. Let's just take a little buzz around see if we can find that big pit.
Oh, where did it go? I thought there was a big pit over here. So anyways, he's at basically 500. Can we get to 500? Yes. So let's go 500. Fifty-seven hundred, and we'll see if we can get. Uh, I'll write that down. See if we can get our tunnel to pop up right about there. able to find the big pit so we are gonna have to go exploring ourselves and I think we're gonna head back so 500 was this way and that's plus oh some sheep died so I think if we go this way it's towards home yeah all right, so we're just going to fly, and we'll explore around. See if we can find us a lush cave. He's got a village right there. I don't know why he said he couldn't find a village. Well, hopefully he watches the video and takes down those coordinates. There's a village, like, right super close to your base. So we need to go down in numbers. There, this way. Alright, let's keep our eyes open for a big hole. land to uh, get some rockets out. And I think soon we are going to start um, an ocean monument uh, farm because uh, no one has one and I want prismarine blocks. So as much as I didn't want to make another prismarine farm, we are going to. Okay. Oh, water over here. Like I said in one point. 20 or 1.2 I think we are going to have a lot of exploring to do so we will have definitely a few episodes 
where uh, we probably do nothing but explore to find all the different uh, armor things and you know the archaeology and all that's coming. seen too many good caves. Little one here. Oh, <laughs> we are out of rockets. All right, let's uh, right there. Take up two stacks. I have to get this filled back up. Okay, so I don't think there's going to be anything under here. Let's just continue. Not a hundred percent sure if um, when the update hits, if we are going to be able to uh, keep what we got here, or if it's going to mess it up. So hopefully it doesn't. But if it does, then I imagine we'll uh, just be starting over. Uh, what we got here? pretty deep though. Creeper. Shaft. I don't think that works with silk touch. I think it just breaks it. I think we need shears. Let's try one, and then if not, I'll get my shears out. Because I would like to grab a couple of cobwebs. Wow, those take a long time. Probably would be easier to just grab my shears. Yeah, see it breaks it. Uh, let's see if we got some shears. I think it's in the black one.
going to use his left arm. Ah, there's someone there. I do have thorns on my exploring armor. It's pretty much my regular armor. Um, it's good for if you go AFK. Sometimes it'll save your life. Um, try to keep track. I'm gonna get lost down here. To dig my way out. Diamonds over there. We'll look at that. There's the candle right down there. So. There's some more. See no more diamonds. Um, let's grab a few more cobwebs. We got ten. That's pretty good. And we got six. Where are you shooting from? Oh, way down there. So that's what I usually do. I just do a torch from line of sight to the next one, and then I know uh, basically how to get back. There was keep our eyes open for some diamonds. So not a lush cave, but we did get uh, a couple of diamonds, and we got some. Cobwebs for nice try, creeper. All right, work our way out of here. So perhaps these ones. Grab as much copper as we can. I got a build coming up that I want a lot of copper for. So I think that might be one of our next farms. We might have to make a copper farm. I'm hoping with these LAs that uh, I'm going to keep the box that's in the uh, part where I took it all the water because it's still spawning drowned. And squids. Alright, let's get rid of that one. That one. Just let's fill that up. Perfect. Alright. I think we might 
might have to fly up out of here all the way up there. <coughs> to dig ourselves up out of here back to the surface which ain't too far straight up just for that one reason with the gravel but as long as you have your shovel ready you can usually dig yourself up pretty quick uh, hopefully we're not inside a mountain I just got the five minute warning that uh, our video will come to an end. I can only do an hour at a time on here, so we're going to end that one for today. Um, I'm going to keep looking around, see if I can find a lush cave, get some axolotls, and uh, yeah, so we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Um, 
this was my 99th video that I've posted on uh, my channel. So we got the big 100 coming up. I'd like to be uh, at 100 subscribers when I post my 100 videos. So make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button and the uh, notification so you know when I post. And uh, leave some comments on that. It helps out with uh, the channel. And again, thanks. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.